Hi guys, it's Patty from I Can't Wait. I'm coming to you a little bit early again this week with my week 30 post-VSG update. Last week I came to you at 192.1 pounds and this week I'm 192.7 pounds. Um, so that's a gain of 0.7 pounds I believe. I'm really not surprised since last week I lost four pounds in theory according to the scale but I kind of had a sneaking suspicion that it wasn't altogether accurate. Um, I may have been that 192.1 at that very moment but I didn't really think I could actually lose four pounds in one week without doing anything any differently. So I think my body's just catching up with what happened last week and I'm really not disappointed too much with the half pound or so gain because overall I'm down, you know, almost four pounds in two weeks and that's still really good. So I'm happy with my progress. I think, um, to tell you the truth, I'm eating too much beef jerky. Um, if you get original beef jerky, it can have six to eight grams of carbs per ounce. And an ounce of jerky isn't too much, as you probably know. Um, and my husband bought some teriyaki or other flavored jerky the other day. And I indulged way too much yesterday because I didn't eat big enough meals. And I was really, really hungry between meals. So I ate jerky as a snack. And that's not good because it contains way too many carbs. I'm not saying I'm never going to eat it again. I mean, I will, but I want to stick to the original with no flavorings or additives if I can and stay away from the higher carb content jerkies. Um, I will do my stats. I am 59 years old. I'm 5'3 and a half. And I had VSG or vertical sleeve gastrectomy weight loss surgery on April 19th. 2017 in Tijuana, Mexico with Dr. Mario Almanza of Weight Loss Agents. Um, so far I have lost 73 pounds. I was 265, I believe. Yeah, 265 even the day of surgery. And that has been my journey so far. Um, I am seven months out from surgery on Sunday, November 19th, 2017. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about a product I've been using since I think six or eight weeks post-op and I'm sure everybody's heard of it. It's called Mederma and it's a scar treatment, uh, kind of a gel consistency. And I looked it up to find out what the active ingredients were and they are Elantuan and something called Cepalin. And I discovered that they both have anti-inflammatory and healing properties, and they're both derived from plants. In fact, cepalin, I'm not sure if that's how you spell it, it's C-E-P-A-L-I-N, is derived from a certain type of onion. So that was interesting, I thought. Um, so it's pretty much kind of a natural natural product that you're putting on your body. But I really have noticed that it's lessened the redness of my scars and my abdomen from my surgery. When I get brave enough, I'll show you my naked belly, but not today. <laughs> um, also, I wanted to address uh, a topic that was proposed by Elizabeth from Finding Elizabeth, and it's called No Fear November. I have many fears in my life, but weight loss related are the ones I'm going to concentrate on right now. And those are, I'm afraid of food. I'm afraid I'm going to get to my goal weight and gain it back. And I'm afraid I'm never going to get to my goal weight. So those are the three things weight loss related that, that I'm really fearful of. Um, I'm really afraid I won't get to my goal weight in the back of my mind because every time I've ever dieted in my life, which has been since I was 12, let's put it honestly, I've always been a failure. 
I've never succeeded, except for maybe twice in my life, of getting to my desired goal weight. And those two times, I think I was my goal weight for maybe five minutes. <laughs> that was about it. So I, if I did reach my goal weight, I never stayed there. I instantly started gaining weight again once I was off my diet. So I have a real fear of, of not succeeding. And I know it's irrational and I know it's probably dumb. But that's how I feel inside. I, I just have never really been successful and I'm afraid I won't be successful again ultimately. I look back and I know I've lost 73 pounds and that's really an accomplishment and I'm proud of myself for doing that. It's been hard. Every pound has been a struggle um, after the first two months anyway and trying to find what works for me food wise um, has been tough. So I'm still sticking to my low carb sort of keto diet. Um, I don't eat quite enough fat to qualify for keto, I don't think, but I do have that cream in my tea every night, <laughs> which is really good. Um, my other fear is getting to goal weight and then gaining it all back and my surgery would have been in vain. And that scares the crap out of me because I can't see going through all this and being so good for so long and trying so hard and ultimately gaining the weight back. I don't think that's going to happen because my sleeve is a very valuable and effective tool at keeping me from eating too much. However, the, the sleeve does not prevent you from putting crappy foods into your body. So it's ultimately up to me to decide how I'm going to feed my body and whether or not I'm going to gain the weight back. It's not going to just be an automatic phenomenon that happens because, you know, I got to my goal weight. Um, next, I am afraid of food, especially any food that contains carbs, even fruit I'm afraid of, of right now. Um, being low carb for the last, well, about two and a half months, I guess, I've really rid my system of most carbs and I am scared to death that once I start eating carbs again, even in moderation, that it'll lead to me just going off the rails and I don't want that to happen. So in a lot of ways, I'm afraid of food. I'm afraid of what it's going to do to me. I'm afraid that it's going to start controlling me again. Uh, you know, I've always been a compulsive overeater, an emotional eater, and I don't want to go back to that life. I like my new life, and I want to stay where I am. So hopefully, my determination and the will of God, I hope, will help me get to my goal weight, stay at my goal weight, and I can lose the fear of food. So that's my no fear November stuff, I guess. Um... I think that's about all I really wanted to talk about today. Um, tomorrow, as I told you last week, I'm going up north to uh, Northern Cal uh, sorry, California, Northern Utah to my daughter's because it's her 29th birthday and we're going to have a little celebration. And my granddaughter's performing in the Nutcracker with a broken arm and a huge cast. <laughs> so that should be interesting. I will... Um, after my surge anniversary, which is on which is on Sunday, I'm coming back Sunday. Um, hopefully by next Monday, I can film another video, and um, I will try my hardest. Although I suck at editing, I will try my hardest to include some pictures of me, what I look like right now, and what I look like the day of surgery. So, anywho, I hope everyone's having a great day and it's the start of a great week for you all. I really, really appreciate all my new subscribers. I adore you. Thank you so much. And I just thank everyone for tuning into my channel and watching my videos. It means so much to me. And keep making your own videos. I derive so much pleasure and so much motivation and inspiration from your videos. So keep it up. Anyway, have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.